I was literally like, I am here in my mouth. I am here in my mouth. But I'm a million different people from one day to the next. I can change my mouth. No, 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 no. I said I've been down. I'm not gonna go there, okay? Mid to late 90s, okay? If you were in high school in the late 90s, early 2000s, when Britney Spears came out and we were listening to the Verb Pipe, okay? And the Verb. <laughs> Remember they came out at the same time? Ciao. This is actually Taurus, okay? I don't know what I said, but this is Taurus, right? Knight of Pentacles right here. Um, Taurus, I am going to be doing your Happy New Year reading. I've already done the cardinal signs. I'm starting with you. Leading the way for the fixed signs, I'm using the Tarot of the Divine Masculine here. If you are new, I'm Kendrick, and this is Providence Tarot. We do a lot of things here, not just tarot. Um, I'm using two decks, you know. If I need to clarify or if I feel like I need to give you a little, some moral support, spiritual support, I'll pull this oracle card for you. But if the message is pretty clear, and also in terms of time, I'll pull an oracle card for you. What the hell? Anyway, right now I am burning lemongrass, which is kind of nice. I like it. So Taurus, let's see what's going on with you. As a collective, we are still experiencing Uranus, the Great Awakener, in your sign. And it's been there for quite a while. Right? Happy holidays. I mean, I guess they're over now because we have made it to the new year. The next holiday is probably going to be some sort of federal holiday. Um, you know celebrating some president or something. George Washington's birthday, President's Day, MLK. That's all, you know, January. And then we have Black History Month in February. And that is also Valentine's Day, which kind of squares you, you know, because it's Aquarius season, uh, which is quite interesting. And Aquarius season is about humanity, right? love of humanity but then also romance because uranus the sign the planet that is the ruler of aquarius is the esoteric ruler of libra which is ruled by venus the goddess of love anyway we've cut your cards taurus at the bottom of the deck you have the chariot that's your overall energy so taurus people who have <clears throat> a Taurus stellium, you know, Taurus sun, moon, rising, or if you are an honorary Taurus with your sun in your second house, this reading is for you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram. It is Providence Tarot there. And uh, also there, I am NYC Kendrick, which is kind of like my dance and fitness account. Personal, you know, it's my first one. Anyway, the chariot is talking about victories. Moving forward, you maybe learned a very valuable lesson and now you're ready to move on from something, you know? This is connected to a transitional energy, transient energy. Also, you are rediscovering your power here. And this is what is encouraging you and motivating you to keep going, right? You're rediscovering a sense of power within yourself. And it's motivated by, you know, an emotional awareness for what it is that you want or what it is, yeah, what it is that you want out of life. Ask yourself, what's more important in this moment? And are you living in the moment or are you living in the future, you know? Are you living in the past? Are you living in this moment? Or are you living in the future? And I say that because this is a seven, you know, and it's connected to the 10th house, you know. <laughs> um, and then as well, you know, this being uh, the opposite of the 10th house being cancer, you know what I mean? So are you experiencing opposition within yourself? Or is that over? Are you moving forward now? 
Also, there needs to be a little bit of opposition so that you can feel motivated. You know what I mean? These are challenges. You know, challenges are meant to lead you to a victory. If you were never challenged, then how would you know if things were going well or not? You know, just something to think about. But this is a great card, I love it. It's a, it's about, you know, uh, expansion in a way, right? Um, getting somewhere. Probably some of you may be traveling because this is connected to travel, Taurus. I know that you guys kind of like, like to do that every now and then. Um, and that might be because the moon is exalted in your sign. Um, so this is kind of like lovely energy for you. So it's kind of like getting out of your comfort zone or you might even be getting out of this place of complacency or just not feeling motivated because you maybe didn't have a reason to be motivated or something like that. But you have a lot to look forward to. You know, life is a wild ride and it's filled with extremes and nothing is ever going to always look the same. You know what I mean? So whatever. This is great. You're changing. Let's lay these out. Also, there's kind of like this sense of impatience there with the chariot card too, because that, that kind of has a sense of impatience there, right? So I want you to pace yourself, you know, take it easy. Right? But the chariot is a great card. Let's look at what's going on in the center for you. Knight of Wands. So, with the Nine of Wands, we're talking about having to maybe let something go or having to leave something behind or maybe it's a short-lived something, you know? Um, this is definitely connected to actions, right? Unpredictable actions. Uh, not not being able to predict how someone is going to act, behave, respond. Um, also, the Knight of Wands talks about quick thinking, right? Being called to action, thinking quickly, you know, taking action quickly. Uh, the chariot is here, right? So maybe you need to take action quickly with something. Uh, it could have something to do with healing just because this Knight of Wands is one-third Scorpio. And then, you know, the Sagittarius is talking about the optics. So maybe some of you need to go to the eye doctor or maybe some of you need to get something checked on your car with the chariot being here and then it being the Knight of Wands, which is Sagittarius, you know? And Sagittarius and the chariot car kind of like have that energy of moving, right? Quickly or fast. Um, Make sure that you are driving the speed limit and also make sure that you are not speeding, right? Or that you're wearing your seatbelt, all of that, you know? Because I see the chariot card here and then I see the knight of wands. Make sure that you're not speeding and make sure that you're wearing your seatbelt, okay? And make sure that like everybody else is too. Um, let's see what the challenge is though. The challenge is a seven of wands, okay? So you got two sevens here. Um, somebody might be 77, you know, this could be like an elderly person that you're having to look after, uh, or that you're having to stand up for, right? They could even be living in a, in a nursing home or something like that. Um, <clears throat> definitely with the Knight of Wands and the Chariot being here. The Seven of Wands is talking about standing up, what you, standing up for what you believe in, you know what I mean? And it also is talking about, um, being motivated and being driven yourself, right? Having a sense of, uh, intention and motivation to, to you, right? Not letting anybody push you around, especially this Knight of Wands energy, you know, because the Knight of Wands energy can be a little bit off-putting because all of it, all it does is just kind of like, um, it's, it's, it's using up energy, right? Maybe using up fuel, maybe fuel, maybe you're exhausted with this person, this Knight of Wands energy, you know? somebody to, that is just like uh testing you a lot that makes you feel like all you want to do is just kind of like run away or get away right or or stay busy so that you're not around them or something like that um yes but definitely believe in yourself okay 
because maybe you're doing something that might be challenging or difficult with the Knight of Wands being here. And the Seven of Wands is the challenge of like, you know, don't think about what other people are going to, how other people are going to react or respond to what you're doing, because what you're doing is different than anyone has maybe seen before, right? With the Knight of Wands being here. And also you can't necessarily trust everyone to give you their uh, authentic, I don't know, authentic selves. Yeah, I'm just going to say that, you know, because sometimes people aren't thinking, period. Let's look at the past. Okay, so the Two of Wands is talking about something that you were thinking about doing. You know, you want to take flight with something. You want something to kind of like, you're trying to dissolve a boundary, a boundary between yourself and, you know, your success, <laughs> right? You're trying to lead your, you're, you're being led to your success here with the Two of Wands energy, right? The twos are talking about um, knowing your limitations, but also taking risks too, okay? Um, and, 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 you know, people who take risks are rewarded by spirit, by the universe, you know what I mean? Um, let's see what you can do. You know what I mean? Let's give this a try with the Two of Wands, right? It's taking a chance here with this Two of Wands energy. You know? Um, mm -hmm. It could be you wanting to um, pursue a new business endeavor, okay? Let's see what the sun position is. Yep, it is because the four of pentacles is here and that's the sun in Capricorn, which is where we are right now. It's a new beginning. It's very much a, this energy of wanting to transform your life or change the landscape of your life by doing this thing, uh, allowing you to have like, uh, be motivated in a new way. Um, uh, creative abilities are being expressed through the materialization of something. Maybe you are trying to write something. Maybe you are trying to, you know, uh, focus on 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 um, saving or establishing yourself financially in a particular way so that you can afford something. Um, this also could just be business, right? Because sun and Capricorn is very business focused, right? So the light, the illumination is being brought to your finances and what stability in your finances you have to take action in some kind of way with the Four of Pentacles. And it talks about you leading in a new way. And that's why the Two of Wands is here in the past, this recent past position, right? Um, okay, this is pretty good. Let's see what's going on in the moon, right? The Keeper of Wands. Let me show you these cards. I don't know why I haven't shown the, any of them to you chariot right moving forward with something great that you've been thinking about taking some risks right wanting to expand wanting to do some things that make you feel like you're 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 you know there's some excitement in your life right you know and here's the seven of wands saying that you're doing it for you and no one else and that's what you need to remember and then the two of wands is here saying like take a chance take risks you know there's reward in this you know the only thing that's stopping you is you yourself right and the only thing to fear is fear itself and to you know that's that's literally it yeah it might be intimidating yeah it might need a little bit more of your attention that you're used to giving it um it's gonna consume some of your time you know what i mean you're gonna probably have to spend some money to make some money but it's worthwhile you know and then we have this keeper of wands here which is you know this is also investments in your home you know, because the four is connected to the fourth house, which is cancer, right? And then the chariot is here as well, which is definitely cancer. And then you have the seven of wands here. So you're you're wanting to also do something like that. Maybe some of you are, are wanting to paint in your apartment, or maybe some of you are wanting to, you know, um, I don't know, pave a new driveway. Maybe some of you are trying to buy a new home, right? Or you're just trying to upgrade your home in different ways. Maybe it's the security system that you want to upgrade. Maybe it is, you know, storm windows and doors or something like that. I don't know. Um, and, and that's only for people who don't like live in the city, right? Those are for people who live like out in the burbs. So we have the Keeper of Wands here, which is the Queen of Wands. And this is kind of like in your internal world, right? So you are curious, yeah? 
you're curious to do something and that's what the keeper of wands talks about it is definitely aries energy so it talks about uh leading with uh impulse but within also intention right uh so you have the impulse to to do something it might have something to do with like you know, your confidence, it's telling you to believe in yourself because you have this inner spirit that is kind of like a spark, a fire uh, that is sustaining you and, and, and keeping you kind of like energized, right? So I, I don't want you to hold yourself back and creatively, you know what I mean? So you have to explore your creative limitations, right? So you have to, you have to kind of like um, experiment right? That's what the, the Queen of Wands is talking about. Experimentation, trying things, you know what I mean? Putting things together and see where things go, right? That's why it's kind of Aries energy, Cardinal Fire, but then it's also connected to Leo because the sun is exalted, which is the ruler of Leo in Aries, right? We got these sunflowers here talking about blossoming, talking about blooming. You've got the kitten and then you've got the lion in the picture as well, which is talking about big or small, right? You can tackle anything. It doesn't matter how big or small it is, right? <laughs> I love it. Um, absolutely, right? Seeds have already been planted. There's already growth here. There's already a little bit of prosperity. You know, you can see the prosperity in something. You know what I mean? So this is great. I want you to stay encouraged with that. What's kind of pulling you back is your own, like, um, actually, this is a great card. It's not, <laughs> it's not really holding you back. But it's like your ideas, you know, you have a lot of ideas and you just need to get your ideas under control, you know, and that's what the magician is talking about. Because this is Mercury and Mercury is like, um, it's movement, it's expansion, it's ideas, it's writing things down, it's um, connected to Pluto as well. So you're establishing a new sense of, uh, you're, you're newly empowered, right, or you're about to be, you're kind of like trying to... Uh, and you are empowering yourself in new ways or different ways, or maybe you just feel like newly inspired to do something different because Mercury is talking about um, new and exciting things. And then the magician is definitely an ace. So it's talking about new beginnings, planting seeds, uh, powerful seeds, um, you know, your ego. This is a good... Um, a good boost for your ego and also this is a positive way to exercise your ego you know this is a healthy narcissism here with this magician card because we're taking all of the elements that are available to you and we are making something that matters you know and it also has the potential to make money right because the 10th house reduces to a one we got the magician here this is an ace you know what i mean you are the you are the 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 the, the, the generator okay what is that song? Who, who sings it? Oh, generator, fucking, or whatever you can. Oh, whatever it is. You know what it is. Oh, can you feel my motor? You're the one that started it. Who sings it? It's the Foo Fighters. <laughs> Okay, so the Nine of Wands is kind of like, maybe you tried this before and it didn't work one time, or maybe you feel like I've been here before with this Nine of Wands, you know what I mean? Or maybe um, you had reasons to kind of like believe that something wasn't going to work, or maybe your ego was bruised from the last time that you tried something or you wanted to do something, you know what I mean? Or it could have just been from some past experience that happened to you that made your confidence dwindle a little bit and not just in one area, just like in many different areas because it is Sagittarius, you know what I'm talking about? So it's like considering the extremes of how you might feel uh, and just like really be patient with yourself, you know what I mean, with this Nine of Wands here because you don't want to have it be like an all or nothing type of thing with yourself with this because then you could be you know short changing yourself or you know you may just be distracting yourself with this all or nothing mentality you know what I mean you just have to see where things go you have to explore takes a long time to build a house. It takes a lot of people to build a house from the ground up. It takes a lot of time to grow a a body of work. You know what I mean? You know, and it's almost kind of like doing it yourself 
is probably good. I mean, at least you can kind of like control the quality of it. But the Nine of Wands definitely wants you to understand that you're not going to know everything, okay? And don't be upset or beat yourself up for not knowing everything. You know, let it be a, a fun learning experience for you, you know? Um, and don't see any kind of mishaps as a sign that you should, you know, stop or anything like this. You know, sometimes we get very excited or we have a, we get emotionally passionate about something and we need to just like chill and pace ourselves, like I said before. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so this is really great. This is talking about like, um, you have a knack a talent and a skill for making things uh, making things happen, make things good. But this is kind of like perfecting something, right? This is what we're also trying to do too. So it takes time to perfect your work, right? And this is also a card of mastery, you know? There's a lot of Mars here. There's a little bit of Pluto here, okay? Um, is definitely talking about focusing on your strengths, right? That's how you're going to, your work is going to be the most potent when you fo focus on your strengths, right? And um, that's kind of like the energy of Mars and Pluto, potency, focus, potential, right? The eight is here. It's saying don't stress yourself out over over things that like don't necessarily matter, right? Because this is Virgo. This is a Virgo card. Um, don't stress yourself out over things that don't matter because all you're going to do is um, don't water down the quality of the product, right? Don't water it down, right? Also, you can really rely on authenticity when you are doing your work, right? Rely on your authenticity. Go with what, go with what you know. And don't be afraid to go with what you know because that's your best bet, okay? Right, and the sun card comes up next. You better get the eight of pentacles, which is the eight of diamonds, which is in the center of the playing cards when they're laid out. And it's like the sun at the top of the playing cards. And then you get the actual sun card. Hello, this is working out for you. And I think I know what the card is at the very top. Let's see. Anyway, the sun card, you know, it's like uh, you are finally there you know you're prepared you're ready this is also connected to like um children maybe some of you are ready to have another child or maybe some of you are, are thinking that you're ready to have children at some point you know you're closer to to really realizing and believing that this is something that could could happen for you um and the sun card could also just be like the introduction of a new life right? It could be a pet. It could be a child, okay? It could be a person that's coming in that could be warming your heart in some kind of way. Um, yeah, maybe some of you need to go to the doctor if you haven't had your like, normal checkup. It's the beginning of the year. Go ahead and get that blood drawn or whatever. Have, you know, whatever things that you feel like you might need to get tested, tested. If things run in your family, go ahead and do that, you know? Um, yeah, also we're, we're thinking about a healthier heart in the year 2022. So if that's like exercise, if that's eating, you know, more fiber or whatever it is, you know, just even thinking about the things that you put into your body, you know? Wow, 
the Wheel of Fortune right after the Sun card. So there's a lot of prosperity here. There's a lot of room for financial growth, um, stability, okay? For sure, with the Sun card and the Wheel of Fortune and the Magician, that is really cool, Taurus, or people who have Sun in second house, okay? And Stelliums, too. Remember, Taurus, Sun, Moon, rising. All right, yeah, this Wheel of Fortune says, you know, it's, it's, things, things are going, things are moving, you know, you're on your way. Okay, and the Wheel of Fortune is connected to like the universe and expansion and also like, uh, you know, what you are, what you are bringing, what you are providing, you know, <laughs> what's being provided for you. This is a great opportunity for you to accomplish something great at the top. Three of Wands, I knew it. Definitely connected to you. You've been waiting for this for some time, you know? And I said, you're ready. It's Aries energy, right? It's connected to that Three of Wands here that's right at the top of the reading as well, you know? Um, you got the Four of Pentacles here. So this is great. Either you're getting a new job, you're going into a new company, you're getting a promotion, or you are um, starting a business of your own. And you are really ready. You're really gung ho. Um, yeah. Some of you are establishing your your next your next level. You see what I mean? For sure. Two of Wands is definitely talking about maybe a relationship, especially with the Chariot card here right? I don't know if you're thinking about moving in with your partner, some of you, not everyone. Okay. Especially with that four of pentacles. We're going to go with two. The void. So what ways have you been feeling the void in your life, right? Or maybe, um, and how have you, what have you been avoiding? Okay. The void is asking you to Remember what is important. You know, sometimes things don't have to always be grand and huge and big, right? Um, sometimes it's good to just start somewhere, you know? And also the void questions, you know, what are, what are the ways that we have been coping with the emptiness that we may have been feeling or the emptiness, the empty spots in our lives, when things slow down, when we don't have a lot of things to fill in the time, you know? What do we think about then, right? Like that type of stuff. Right, reclaim. It's like void, reclaim, okay? So reclaiming your time, reclaiming my time, bitch. Reclaiming my time right now. <laughs> okay. Also, like, taking your power back. And I know that's so cliche to say, but what in what ways are we doing that? We have to, we're constantly giving it away, so we have to constantly be reminding ourselves to reclaim ourselves, right? Uh, and reclaim your destiny, too. If you may have gotten... Uh, misaligned at some point. Now we're getting back aligned, you know? And the void is kind of like maybe some things had to like leave your life or leave your, you know, sphere of existence so that you can have new things being brought into place, you know? I feel like that's something as well. Uh, and also like whatever this void has been, now this is your chance to to fill it with something or put something there that really does matter, you know? Hmm, this is really good, you know? And I'm not, I'm not kidding around when I say that, Toro. Anyway, thank you so much. Happy New Year. Like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Everything is in the description box if you want to donate to the channel as well. 
things are there. Bye, Taurus.